Poland's relationship with the European Union, strained by the open defiance of the country's conservative government, is at its lowest point in years. Since the Law and Justice Party came into power in Poland in 2015, it's made sweeping changes to the army's leadership, the civil service, and state television. Earlier this year, it also passed laws it claimed would reform the judiciary, but thousands in Poland protested the measures, which violated EU treaty rules regarding the independence of judges. And now, the EU is dragging Poland to court for logging one of Europe's largest and oldest primeval forests. Hind Hassan reports. Nie można przechodzić dalej, tak? A dlaczego nie możemy przejść? Environmentalists Augustine and Just patrol the forest every day. They're searching for harvesters at work, but getting access to the sites isn't easy. Green campaigners claim that in the first four months of this year, more than 10,000 trees have been cut down in parts of the forest where some of the trees are more than 100 years old. The Biała Wieża forest spans more than 74,000 acres across the country's border with Belarus and is a unique habitat for rare plants and wildlife. What I want to do is to listen for the sound of the engine, maybe localize in this way the, the machine. OK, I'll let you lead the way. Activists are taking direct action to try and stop the logging by tracking down harvesters, recording their location, and sometimes chaining themselves to the machines. The forest is one of a number of heated confrontations between the EU and Poland. Before the dispute and the European Court injunction, logging was done openly. But since the ruling, extra forest guards have been drafted in. They patrol the woods, blocking main roads and access to the harvesters. Even if Augustine and Just walk for hours through dense forests to get to the logging sites, it doesn't mean they'll reach one. Shh, smoke is yes. There's someone there, there's someone there. Oh, where are you? Documents. You want our documents? Come on, come on. Come on. Where's the camera? Come on. Come on. We've just been stopped. This is pretty much the reason why all the controversy is taking place, because the EU courts have told them to stop logging in this forest in a preliminary ruling, but they've continued. And we can see the harvester and the tractors, but the uh, forest guards don't want us to continue filming, because obviously this is quite a sensitive issue for them. Europe's top court has demanded that Poland stops all logging in the forest until a final ruling is made unless it's a safety issue. But some Polish politicians have accused the EU of harassment and discrimination. The Eurosceptic and Nationalist Law and Justice Party insists that the logging is legal and is needed to contain a beetle outbreak and to make roads safe from potential falling trees. So these are the beetles that have been infesting the forest and they've been killing some of the trees. You've worked here for 25 years, you know the forest more than most people. So what impact does it have on you when you have people from outside of Poland, from the EU, telling you to stop doing what you're doing and that what you're doing is wrong? Frazes, bzdura, to tak rzeczywiście nie jest. Trzeba tutaj być i na to popatrzeć. Praca, przynajmniej w Nadleśnictwie Białowieża, ograniczyła się do, tylko do usuwania drzew, które stwarzają zagrożenie bezpieczeństwa publicznego, co jest dopuszczone przez te postanowienie Trybunału Sprawiedliwości Unii Europejskiej. But people have shown us logging that's taken place that's really far out and it's no safety threat. To dlatego, że lasy gospodarcze są otwarte dla wszystkich. Tu każdy może wejść do środka, do tego lasu i no, chociażby się przejść. But that reasoning doesn't wash with all. And according to the EU, trees infested with beetles are not a safety hazard. This is quite important road, road, and there is a lot of small spruces which are not cut. That is simply because they can be sold for much lower price, so they are not really interested. Ecologists and scientists, including Rafael, say that the logging is purely for commercial reasons. He warns that the increase in logging could have a devastating impact on the forest's habitats and species. So if it's not about safety and it's not about the beetle infestation, what is it about? The belt along the, the road we, where the logging should 
occur for from safety reasons, it should be 40 or 50 meters, but very often this is 60 or 80 meters. They use this safety reason really to lock the forest more than needed. To make money? To make money. Ale nie mniej gorąco witam panią Katarzynę Jagiełło Greenpeace Polska. Foresters aren't the only ones angry at the protesters. At this town hall meeting, some of the area's locals say those criticizing the logging are outsiders and foreigners who just don't understand the forest like they do. Proszę państwa, to nie jest las. To było zwykłe. This is a local town meeting, but there is international focus on Poland right now because of the implications of this issue. Can you confirm your commitment to the laws of the European Union? We are aware of and maybe most of all, we are aware of the European Union as well as the Polish law. At this moment, Troszeczkę pani się zagalopowała, przepraszam za to słowo, zagalopowała, ponieważ nie mamy wyroku. Tak jak wcześniej mówiłem, bardzo się z tego cieszymy, że będzie, będzie możliwość oceny i rozpatrzenia tej sprawy przez Trybunał Sprawiedliwości Unii Europejskiej. For now, Poland continues to challenge the legal authority of the EU and how it reacts to the final ruling expected at the end of the year could also decide the future of Poland's 13-year relationship with the Union.